Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, parents. Good morning, teachers and staff. Today is Wednesday, September the 23rd. And we continue the story of creation from the book of Genesis. <coughs> Excuse me. We know that God put man in Eden to care for and to tend the garden. God then created every animal and bird so that the man would not be alone. But none of these animals was enough to be called a helper or a companion. Today, we also have a special feast day. Today, we honor Saint Padre Pio. He helped to open a hospital in Italy called Home for the Relief of the Suffering. So let us ask Saint Padre Pio to intercede for us, that we may also be good stewards of God's creation. Let us then quiet ourselves and prepare to listen to God's word. And so we bless ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God took the man and he put him in the garden of Eden to till it and to keep it. Then the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground, the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to the cattle and to the birds of the air and to every animal of the field. But for the man, there was not one found that he could call a helper or a partner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In today's reflection, we invite you to think about the story we just heard from creation in the, in the book of Genesis. And what was it that was missing from the man's life? That the animals were not enough for a companionship. Have a wonderful and blessed day, boys and girls. Now let us continue with our mission statement and prayer. And together we say, San Martin de Porres School strives to develop and inspire strong Christian values and academic excellence, thus empowering our children to become tomorrow's leaders and emerge as spirit-filled individuals concerned with the advancement of God's kingdom on earth prayer. Jesus, today I will live out this mission statement by being kind with my words and acting with love in all that I do. Amen. Now let us stand. As we begin our pledges, we begin with a pledge to the U.S. flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Pledge of Allegiance to the Texas Flag. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. We end our morning pledges with our pledge to the cross. And so I invite you to uh, look at the crucifix if you're near your home altar or if you have a crucifix by your work area. And so we have our praying hands as we make our pledge to the cross. I pledge allegiance to the cross of Christ and for the faith for which it stands, one church, holy, Catholic, and apostolic, with grace and salvation for all. We end our morning pledges with prayers. Um, we continue to ask St. Michael for his protection and intercession. And so together we pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wandered throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And as we end our morning prayer, let us ask our Blessed Mother Mary to help us to be more like Jesus today in all that we do. And so together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then we have two more uh, activities that we want to focus on before we let you go off to do your work with your teacher. The first is we want to review the character education or the virtue of the month. And so in September, we're going to be working on the virtue of friendship. So we invite you to think about how you can be a good friend to others and how others are good friends to you. And so the entire month, we're going to be asking God to help us with this virtue and to help us to be good friends. So, with that said, then have a wonderful and blessed day. Um, have fun learning and working um, with your teachers on your Google Meet sessions. Thank you and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.